May 2013, I sent a number of fox lights to Zambia in Africa, where Sandy Simpson, who is a part of the Green Rural African Development Project, is researching non-lethal ways to protect crops from elephants in and around Livingston. Up until now, the only defence against elephants has been expensive electrical fencing or by hunting them. I visited Sandy in September 2013 to see his work and to assess how fox lights might fit into his program. So here we're going into Robbie's farm. This is where I did really the second experiment in Livingston. Over here is a green patch of vegetables that we've managed to protect very well against elephants. Okay. Hello everybody. How are you? Hello. Are you fine? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you to meet you. Happy to meet you. Yes. And you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, and this is your light. Yeah. And here it is, with, we're testing it in Africa, really. This is so have it positioned up high like that with elephants, I think is a wonderful idea. Right. Back in Australia, we would only mount it at about this level, mm -hmm. because we have nothing like elephants to annoy us back home. Mm. But um, the concept of it is the fact that you've got the varying light between the blue and the white gives the appearance that there's movement in the area, that there's somebody walking around with a flashlight. Yeah, I was lying in bed one night and uh, thinking, how am I going to protect my newborn lambs against foxes? Right. Because what, one of the main protections we had was night shooting with a spotlight and a gun. And so I thought, well, if I can create a scenario whereas it appears somebody's walking around the, the field with a, a, a torch, a Absolutely. spotlight, uh -huh. then uh, the, uh, would be enough to deter the foxes, right. which is what it has done. And the fox comes along, sees the flashing light, thinks there's a human there, and then diverts around and, and goes and eats your next door neighbour's lambs rather right. than yours. Right. Um, but and the way you've mounted it here is, is ideal, I think, because, well, even though that wouldn't be out of the reach of an elephant, if an elephant wanted to get to it, they're a good I dare say. But off the ground is away from most yeah. other... What we've tried to do here is put it really at eye level. Right. Uh, uh, elephant's eye level, elephant. yes. Yeah, yeah elephant's that's... eye level. Mm -hmm. and, and really also leave the... You know, as free as possible to give the 360 yes. light coming off it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it can be seen yeah. from, a, from quite a distance. Really. Yeah. Well, that's it. Well, you can see the light for all, at least a kilometre right. in distance. But then once again, you've got to be careful not to have it in a shaded area. Because say if there's a tree or a shed or something out there where you can't see the light, then it's going to have no effect. Absolutely. You, you've got to always have it it's in as, visible. as visible as you can. Yep. The other point with the two is if you're able to set two lights, say one here and one there, say 10 metres apart, mm -hmm. you then get the effect of the light perhaps jumping from one point to another point, right. which will then give you a, a more of a movement effect. Right. Um, I, they do work in, say, hen house situations with one light, but always out in the field I say to people, if you can see the two lights, you'll always get a much better effect than right. with, with just the one light. So, Okay. 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 Now, uh, it is operated with a light sensor, which means that uh, you don't have to turn it on, turn it off as, as you need it. comes on automatically right on dark. And as you can see, we've started, started to flash now. Just come on. Yes, yes that's right. And it's, uh, it does a strobe, and you have the two different colours. The reason why I need the two different colours was so that I had a variance, whereas animals would not adapt to it. Um, because back home, foxes are so smart that I had the belief that they would work out just an ordinary flashing light as being just a flashing light. Right. I went for the blue bulb because dogs can see blue better than any other colour and put a computer chip on top of it to make it uh, variant in the way that it should flash. A special thanks to Greg and Belinda Shaw for providing footage to this film. I have since sent lights to Kenya for testing in the protection of livestock against lions for the Maasai people and hope to travel there in 2014 to evaluate and perhaps expand this project. It is my belief Fox Lights has the potential to assist in the saving of many endangered species around the world.